What's up guys, Brandon and Jeremy here from friendofrc.com giving you our review of the Castle SCT, Sidewinder SCT. Now they've got a new version out, the V2, uh, which solves a lot of the negatives you're probably going to hear about the SCT. Mm -hmm. But um, we'll jump right into it, um, start off with the, with the technical, which I'll let, I'll let Brandon just kind of run with. Sure. So the big thing with these SCT systems, the whole reason they're qualifying it as a, the SCT stands for short course truck, first of all, is the added torque. This is a four pole motor over your standard two poles and four pole means you pretty much double the torque without getting too technical. Mm -hmm. um, and for short course and for this size motor, it means gobs of torque, like ridiculous amounts, rip your metal gears out, your <laughs> transmission kind of torque. Um, the limitation of the system is a two cell and that really comes down to uh, RPMs. They don't want to over rev this thing. They don't want to overheat the ESC. And honestly, you don't need any more than a two cell. This was kind of sold aimed at racers more than bashers. Bashers can use it, but they kind of came out with this to give a little competition edge for short course trucks, particularly ones that were running a standard 540 yep. can and want a little more oomph without jumping up to larger can size. So again, more torque. And like you said, the V2 now has, I think they said 40% more current carrying capability, mm -hmm. which means you're not going to overheat. The biggest problem we had with this one running it hard, kept hitting thermal shutoff. Yep, and uh, running indoors, you really, really saw it. Outdoors didn't really, wasn't really as much of an issue. Mm -hmm. um, then really with cost of operation, it was great. I mean, it's basically a castle motor for, a castle motor and ESC for I think just around a hundred bucks when, yeah. when we bought it. Um, not a hell of a lot to say about that other than that's a sweet deal. Yeah, that's, I mean, if you compare that to the next, even the stock Traxxas system is 160. So right, yeah. Like, I think it was 110, and you'll find them a lot cheaper now. There's a newer version out. It is dirt cheap for what you get. This still has the uh, Castle Link programming capability. Mm -hmm. They didn't knock that off, so you can still upgrade firmware. Um, they give you a nice little fan unit with it, too, which helps. This is for the motor, not the speed controller. That's where the heat issues were, the speed controller side. Mm -hmm. But it's good to have, nice little feature. I mean, you can't complain for 100 bucks. Yeah, where I, where I took a dip on the, on the kind of my take on the Sidewinder was the fun factor, just because it's super annoying, the, the heat issues. Even sometimes on the two cell, indoors, mm -hmm. running hard, it was like thermaling like crazy. Uh, yeah. It just, it, it was really disappointing. <laughs> like, Disappointed enough that Castle saw that and obviously not yeah. fixed the problem. Now they've got the V2 out there. I mean, uh, and then also, you know, we didn't have any extra cooling on it. Had we had a fan on the ESC, maybe, maybe did some venting, could have yeah. prevented a little bit of the thermaling. But in terms of like stick it on and go, it kind of sucked. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you're if you're a thorough basher, you love this system. You probably won't have any issues with heat. But if you're mm -hmm. on a small indoor track or anything small indoors, where yeah. you're constantly on the brakes, on the throttle. That's what really spikes the heat, and that's when you run into problems. Yeah, and then you know the value, which we usually talk about, great value. I mean, you're gonna get a castle system for around 100 bucks. Um, I got nothing to complain about there. Yeah, there's nothing else out there that'll compete with that price for something that you can program and that you get name brand support for. Mm -hmm. And then uh, performance. Again, the only knock on it was a heat issue, and also the limitation of the 2 S lipo. We've talked about this before, kind of like with. Uh, ESCs that are made for stock, mm -hmm. like Trex has got it right. You know, when the Valenion came out, it's like it handled that extra S, you know, the three yep. S. Mm -hmm. um, so that if you just wanted to go have fun with it, you could. If you wanted to race it, you could. Yeah. It feels like, man, you stop the two S, just take that extra voltage and, uh, you know, apply it in both situations. Yeah, yeah, I, I hear you there. And that would be just fine if they had made this capable of handling that power. But yeah, I mean, I think they kind of maybe uh, overrated it because even yeah. at 2S, we're having the problems. But for performance, if we're still on that topic, the motor itself, <laughs> you won't be disappointed. I mean, it's it's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, it's you just, put a Mamba Max on there and it just rips. Yeah, it's the most most torque you're ever going to need, more than you can use. Great if you have a short course. Don't put in anything else. Don't try to stick it on your other cars. You'll be probably underwhelmed. Again, this is designed for a truck. Yeah, there's a, you know, there's an overwhelming amount of positives. There's a couple of negatives that come along really with the price point. It's like, hey, it's $100, what do you want? Mm -hmm. um, which will lead into, what, if I could go back and buy it again, I probably would not. I would probably buy the V2, uh, but I would not go back and buy this again just because of the way I use my trucks. Like, sure, and I would have to agree too. I wouldn't buy this system. I, I would probably buy the V2 if it came down to a money issue, but if you got the cash and you can save up a little bit, get the new SCT Pro system, instead mm -hmm. of getting the Sidewinder, which Sidewinder to all you uh, noobs out there is basically a sport ESC, lower end. Here's your SCT Pro. It comes with a Mamba Max ESC. 
you can use that on everything you own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one really translates really well, so keep an eye out for our review on this one. So that really comes down to the end. If you've got any questions about the Sidewinder SCT, maybe how you can use it, it's a, it's a great budget castle brushless motor that's most likely going to be much, much better than anything you've got in a ready to run. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's definitely got its places. So if you've got questions, post them on down below or shoot on over to our website at friendofrc.com. Thanks. See you guys.